Lane's team is almost unrecognisable with Lachlan missing and uh, Bishop missing, so several of the changes that they've made have been positional. T Tanner has been brought in at full-back and Large in to the wing and Rapate moving from the centre up to standoff half and Evans in the front row with Ward. So there are quite a few changes for both teams and I've no doubt that they will not be giving any secrets away as they meet here tonight and the next time, in a couple of weeks' time, it will be at Wembley. Wigan's mascot for tonight, very proud to be out there with Elry Hanley. It's pretty, blonde, nine-year-old Louise Frampton from Our Lady's School Brain. I was talking to her before the game and she was absolutely thrilled to bits at the honour of going out with her favourite Ellery Hamley. <laughs> Referee for tonight, Mr. Carter of Witness, Aston Tallins, start the game from right to left. Awkward one in the 25, we can take it cleanly. Clear in their own 25 as Ward comes in with Harrison, big tall forward. Betts bringing it forward in these early stages, Dermot waiting, is acting half back. Good slow around to play the ball. So strong, so powerful, driving forward a few yards from the halfway line. Wigan looks as if they could well be lining up for the kick. We've got Joe Lydon at full back. And it's to Lydon it goes. Belts it down the field. Long deep one into the 25 and it bounces awkwardly, but it's well taken by Quirk out on the left wing. Comes inside and Iro up quickly with Hanley to take him just inside the sense 25. And it's Tanner, first acting half-back. Tall, very tall forward Harrison. The ball's moved across the line and Wigan moving up. And Saints not coming hard and Saints playing into a very, very powerful win. And this half, a poor play of the ball. Bad play of the ball. Wigan got a penalty right in this early minute. Minute gone. Referee saying he didn't play the ball correctly and this should be an easy two points for Wigan. They've got the wind behind them. It's absolutely, well, perhaps slightly to the right of the post. Powerful wind blowing straight down the field in Wigan's favour. A good crowd on here tonight. It was a very untidy play of the ball. I wasn't sure, but the referee penalised him for it. It was a... Very strict decision. Bottica then, who's been banging them over with the greatest of ease recently. Just a couple of minutes gone. Bottica stabs at it, lifts it high. And true, an early lead then for Wigan. Well, the two minutes gone, Wigan take an early lead, two points to nil, and St. Helens lifting it again, Gregory is ever in the right spot to take it. Myers coming in from the wing, quite happy to dive with the ball, as Wigan sort out their attacking line, and a penalty again to Wigan for offside, two penalties within three minutes. This one, of course, Wigan have to go for touch, very... Greasy, and very slippery out there. Hanley. And it looks if Wigan making a substitution already. Platt coming up. And Gildart coming on. Well, Platt didn't last very long. Touch judge marks it, 12 yards inside the half. Wigan coming up quickly. Skerritt comes taking them on, that was a very powerful run by Kel Skerritt. Dermot to Gregory. Gregory handing it on, Wigan trying to dummy the way through. Strong running by Goodway. 
a good way to 10 yards from the line. Wigan surging forward, giving it all they've got as Gregory. Gregory throws the ball away in disgust. Referee giving the scrum down and the put in to St. Allen's. It will be Jonathan Griffiths to feed. In it goes. Hanging in the pack, Griffiths bringing it away from the scrub, managed to get his pass in, and Pell coming in very quickly into the attack. Came in very strongly, referee not happy with the tackle. Well, a lot of penalties being given away in these very early stages. And it will be Tanner playing full-back tonight for St. Helens to kick down the Wigan left wing. Left-footed, gains very little ground as he kicks into, a, into the teeth of this gale. Forwards coming hard, coming in strongly. This game very close, very tight in these early stages. Harrison trying to drive through, is easily put down, posing no threat to the Wigan defenders at the moment. They come round the narrow side and allowed to run a long way and the pass has been dropped. Been picked up by Wigan. Iro has it. Iro driving forward. Myers coming up for the play of the ball. Myers. And a penalty for offside. Referee keeping a very strict eye on this game. It's 34 yards out. Hanley could well be calling over Botica to take this. And it is Botica coming in from the wing. Five minutes gone, Wigan leading by two points to nil. Referee been very tight round the play of the ball. A lot of penalties have been given. Wigan will be wanting to establish a good lead as they have this strong wind behind them. Want to turn round with several points on the board. Six minutes gone. Just over 30 yards out, he comes up, he hits it, he's lifted it high and wide. Not easy kicking even with the wind with you, it's so strong. Drop out then from the 25. Wigan should have possession again. It dropped out, low and hard. Hanley making no mistake with it. Runs into a solid wall of defenders and takes him with him over the halfway line. Myers coming up. Myers having a run on his own, trying to go through. Gains five yards of ground. Now it's Dermot with Scarrett on his left, and it's Scarrett who gets it. Scarrett looking for Gregory. Gregory ducking through, can't get his pass in. Wigan, good way, coming, tearing through then, but Gregory couldn't get the pass out to him. Dermot coming round the narrow side. Scarrett goes in, that was a hard tackle. And a strong tackle by Evans. Clark going in. Missed a couple of games through concussion, now wearing a skull cap. Joe Lydon hoists a high, awkward ball. Coming to Quirk. Quirk knocks it back. Wigan follow up and put him down. Very difficult condition for taking the high ball. Clark following him across. 20 yards out, and the ball's been dropped, and Wigan get it. St. Helens looking very nervy, not settled down. The great roll goes up from Wigan. Good way taking the man, good way, got belting hard for the line. He really hit for the try line then. And Dermot coming up now, five yards out. Dermot, too long one to Gregory. Gregory trying to go through, turns it back inside. And now it's Hanley. Wigan had an overlap if they could have got it out, but they decide to turn it back into the middle. Dermot waiting behind to play the ball. Sends a long pass out. An even longer pass out. Botica takes it well. And he's lost it. It's been intercepted. And St. Tannin's coming streaking away. Well, Wigan lost the ball short of the line. St. Tannin's quickly onto it. Saints now on their own 25, going across field. Yeah, 
Fintan's coming away well from the play of the ball. Great roll of forward from the crowd, but the referee is having none of it. As Grove from behind the play of the ball puts a little overhead kick in, well covered by Wigan. Dermott out onto Myers. Myers going inside. Runs into Connolly. On to Iro. Iro drinking, going midfield, knocking them off. And he certainly shifted Evans, and Evans is a big fella. Dermott working behind the play of the ball. On to Gregory. Gregory dumbing with it, running very wide. On to Bell. Bell trying to come through, bring Botic inside, and he can't take it. Coordination not there between the centre and the wingman. Neither side's handling very brilliant so far. Ball goes in, it's all over the place, and Wigan have won it. Griffiths couldn't pick it up cleanly. Wigan ran very quickly, got possession. On to Gregory. Gregory holding it. Gregory finally made the break. Gregory still going, that's support. Wigan tearing over the 25. Dermot waiting for behind to play the ball. Dermot having a run on his own. Betts made a great run there to set this up for Wigan. On to Gregory. Gregory behind Hanley. Ball's rolling along the ground. Wigan can't pick it up cleanly. Knock on. On field that if Wigan were to play a little more orthodox, just steady stuff straight across the feed, the gaps would, it would well appear for them. Gap there as they trying to come through and Wigan on the back pedal. Good tackle by Joe Lydon, saved the day for Wigan. Groves got having a run on his own from acting half back. Running into Clark. Clark's gone to loose forward. Saints now settling down a little bit more, coming in hard onto it as Groves prompting from behind the play of the ball Griffiths turning it back into the middle ball's gone loose and Wigan dive Wigan quickly onto the loose ball comes out to Gregory Lydon's with him onto Lydon Lydon not to hesitate split second early and he would have been away with that Wigan coming away well as Dermot gets it to Iro. Iro can't take it he drops the ball well this is a real night for dropsy Connolly going across the field Griffiths, smothered, absolutely buried. Saints, not got out of their own half in the first 12 minutes so far, now they're coming strongly. Groves, a good run from acting half back, a good run by Groves, gets it passing. No, he doesn't, he hangs on to it. Saints now win the Wigan half, in the fifth tackle, flung back. A little bit awkward, there's a kick through, Myers covering it, Myers takes it cleanly. Myers is skull dragged on his own 25 line, Joe Lydon waiting for the play of the ball. Puts his head down, happy to die with it, giving his team time to recoup. Wigan trainer on, giving Dermot a bit of attention. Wigan have dropped it and they're offside, the referee going to give the knock on, no. I don't know whether it's the cold or the wind, but the handling by both sides is pretty atrocious. Dermot looking very shaken. The referee. Penalising Wigan. Not signalled very clearly what it's for. Little bit of a discussion as to what they should do with it. And it's Tanner who's been called up. 13 minutes gone. Wigan 2, St. Allen's nil as Tanner left footed round the corner from the left side of the field into a strong wind. That's that it, and it looks a good one. It's swinging, it's swinging, and it's just in for that level of the score. Two points each. 14 minutes gone. Wigan 2, Saints 2. Pitch churning up. 
looking very bald in certain parts of the ground but Joe Lydon Saints now with their own lines to clear Quirk driving it out Harrison long legs pushed across the ground quite easily as Groves comes up had a good game so far Groves now the big men meet each other as Skerritt goes into the tattle Groves coming over again to the play of the ball Haggerty puts his shoulder in coming strongly looking to get rid of it he gets rid of it well Groves making the break and he cut him too but that was good play by Haggerty and Groves Saints now settling down a lot more as Hanley comes into the tattle Wigan Mauling trying to steal the ball on the halfway line St Tellings hanging on to it for dear life Ward plays it back to Groves Groves flings it back for the kick Dottica knocks it inside running cross field gets out of one tattle taking them on coming down the middle a tremendous run by Dottica he had to Iro can Iro get it out to Myers and Iro loses possession looking to get it out to Myers and that was a great run by Bottica set it up extremely well the Griffiths to feed good way gone into the prop position Packed wheeling all over the place won it, Wigan won it against Ed as Gregory gets it on to Hanley Hanley Tate was receiving the ball, keeping it moving. On to Iro, Iro getting it across, on to Lyde. Lyde going to the corner, has he got the speed? He's still going. He's powering in and he's held a yard short. Oh, it's his short. Joe Lyde just couldn't quite make it. Wigan now moving the ball along the line. Iro decides he's going to try and crash through on his own. Still on his feet. Has to die with it, five yards out. But that was a great run by Wigan. And he won it against the head, a long ball. Goes out to Myers, can he make it? Myers is down from his way. And he's forced inside and he has to go down. He said that he came across well. Gregory going for the line. Gap opened and then suddenly closed. Hanley waiting first pass, Hanley has it. Hanley a short one, Wigan trying to bash the way over, five tattles gone, right on the line. Hanley on his own, has he got the strength? Can't get it out, and it's six tattles gone, couldn't get it to Betts, who was with him. Wigan piled on a lot of pressure there, then have to hand it over. Groves to play it, Groves complaining. Hanley in quickly, Wigan trying to pin them down on their own line. Well, Wigan had a couple of good breaks there, didn't bring any points, and Wigan are coming in very, very quickly at the play of the ball, and too quickly, says the referee, as he penalises them. A let-off for St Helens. Well, that was a great break from the scrum there, as Andy Gregory took it across field. Joe Lydon linked up extremely well from the full-back position, and was just a, just a stride short for going over for the first try. And that's not a good kick, but at least it goes into touch. And Tellings will be glad to start with possession as Groves takes the tap. And the big men shoulders in and batted. Dermot going into the tattle. Groves moving it across. Griffiths hands it on. He managed to get his pass in. Wigan not smothering them as Bell comes in. Bell doesn't take his man, nor does Hanley, allowed to run along, he's still turning and twisting, St Tallinn's keeping it going, and a Wigan player down injured, Dermot a bit in the walls, as Groves changes direction, St Tallinn's turning it inside, keeping this ball moving, and it's red hot, and they're causing Wigan all sorts of problems at the moment, kick behind the defence, Botica back there, takes it well, last time he did this, he tremendous run, but this time he's faced with a lot of defenders, he still drives hard into them, <laughs> playing well on his midfield runs, they're not coming over, Wigan players grouped together, extremely close together, Wigan battling the way up to the halfway line, out to Gregory, Gregory kicks behind the defence and that's a good rolling ball as Tanner goes across and it rolls into touch 
didn't try to mess about with it and I let it go in and so it will be St. Helens put in St. Helens going to have to fight the way out again from their own 25 from their own try line five, 10 yards out this time Griffiths quickly away from the scrum being forced across and well tattled good and clean low tattling Wigan smothering them inside the 25 tight in the forwards battling the way out Groves once more comes over for behind the play of the ball and the ball's gone loose and if it isn't Wigan's ball it's a knock on referee signals it's Wigan in possession as Dermot on to Gregory Gregory holding it Good way, battling his way up to the 25 line. Iro coming up to act in half back. Iro to Gregory, back onto Iro, running quarter speed. Dermot got Gregory first pass. Gregory's doing all the prompting. He's missing Edwards, of course, today. Gregory trying to go through on his own, ducking under tattles, which don't come off. Clark coming over for the play of the ball. And they're doing the run around with Clark. Clark taking it over the 25 line. Gregory again hoists the high ball. Wigan are under it. A lot of pressure here. The ball's loose. Picked up by Wigan. And it's Myers following up the kick. Gets Wigan's first try on. That was a nasty kick there. Wigan had applied pressure inside the 25. Ball was hoisted high. There were six Wigan players under it. Saints couldn't take it cleanly. And Myers was there to pick it up and scoot over. 21 minutes of this half gone. Wigan six. St. Helens two. Botica 11 yards in from this right hand touch line. Kicking down to the cop. Good pile in the goals on this season, particularly since Christmas. And it looks a good one, and it is a good one. We're going to eat. Talent do. First try then to Wigan. Two goals to Botica. Try to Myers. Nearly all the pressure, of course, coming from Wigan with the wind behind them. St. Talent's having to struggle. that ball hanging in the air Betts coming tearing in clears his 25 Dermot to Gregory Gregory handing it on Myers coming inside a lot of room for high tapping as Myers dancing his way through great running by Myers getting a good 12 yards of Grant showed a lot of guts and determination in that run to Gregory Gregory holding it Gregory dumbing his way through, but he's got his men close together, lobs it back inside to Betts, Betts running a bit wide, and his legs are taken from under him. Skerritt, big, strong lad going in, Evans comes in, had a little go at him. Dermot back to Leiden, Leiden hoists a high one across field, Tanner going across for it. Sits up nicely for him in his own 25. The Wigan line of defence has gone up and it's Hanley who's up there to put him down. Large coming from the wing, having a little run from acting half back. And the crowd like that one. And George, the big man being lifted up and bounced down. Harrison now going in. 
Pets taking him. Groves handing it on to Haggerty. Haggerty fighting his way almost up to the halfway line and here comes the kick behind the defence. Myers going back for it with Leiden. It's Leiden who takes it. Inside to Myers. Myers running well. Dumbing his way through. And if it... Luck is still to have possession. And he got hurt as he went down. Managed to get the ball back. Referee right on top of it. None too happy with what's going on. Hanley trying to calm them down. Bringing Evans over. Referee signalling very graphically. Evans' transgression. So it with Joe Lydon to kick the touch. Slices a little bit off the side of his foot. As Dermot comes up. It's a good way, good way. Gains a good 15 yards of ground. Dermot. On to Gildart. Dermot. Missing out. Oh, no. Tremendous run by Betts. Coming through well. Dermot to Gregory, Gregory scored straight down the middle, can they get with him, and eventually he's caught with the ball, can't get rid of it, Wigan throwing everything they've got at them at the moment, Clark coming back inside, hesitated a little bit, lost a moment of momentum, short pass, five tattles gone says the referee, Wigan moving out, little grubber kick there, and it's well covered by Groves, Better than a pass. Wigan have been using that short drubber kick near the line to, to some tune, and that's powerful running. Great run by Manny, big strong forward, there's a gap over on the far side. Wigan come inside, backpedalling, and they got into each other's way. And the referee is giving a penalty for a high tattle. Three Wiganers going in together, got into each other's way. Referee says one of the tattles was high. And he's having a little word, he stops the clock. Has a word with Joe Lydon. And Tanner will kick the duck. And St. Tallins wanted to make a substitution. The bringing Evans off and bringing on Jones. Stuart Evans getting rid of a rise as he goes off. Touch, Stuart Top found Saints now, 10 yards inside the Wigan half. Bring it in the forwards, the forwards coming hard at Wigan. Ward driving in hard, powerful forward, great experience. Still tight in the forward, Wigan not as tight as they usually are around the play of the ball. And they're coming away quick, little grubber kick by Joe Lydon falls on it. And he's over his own try line, so it'll be drop out from the post. Wigan giving possession back to Saints to probably kick deep as we come up to the half hour. There's 30 minutes gone. anybody's game this with six points to two on the board as Lydon drops out a deep one Quirk coming inside for it Quirk takes it decides he's going to go on his own looking defenders easily put him down Haggerty moving in inside onto Jones Jones easily put down now it's Groves man coming inside Groves, Griffiths, easily put down, 
And St. Talon's quick at the play of the ball, making a lot of ground. Wigan having a job, snuffing them out. Haggerty from behind the play of the ball, not a particularly good pass. A grubber kick there over the Wigan line, and Wigan have to force it dead. So, for the second time in two minutes, Wigan having to drop out from underneath their own post. Leiden tries another deep one up to the halfway line. This time it's Tanner who takes it off his legs. Forced down, ten yards inside the Wigan half. Wigan moving in from acting half-back, taking the acting half-back. Now it's Groves coming up, who's so efficient behind the play of the ball. Up to Harrison. Harrison managed to get his pass back onto Groves. Groves is so quick. Very alert off the, off the mark. St. Helens now. Tatlick battering the way inside the Wigan 25 and keeping the ball moving. Iro backpedalling quickly and Wigan in an awful lot of trouble here. A set moving on to Harrison. Harrison sends a long one. And Quirk is buried as the Wigan defenders come across to take him. Ten yards out, Tanner. Up waiting for the play of the ball, Tanner moving along one inside, we can be in stretch by defence, and they're going for the line, and Ropati is in to level the scores, and over near the post, Ropati goes over. 32 minutes gone, Wigan 8, St. Helens 6, and Ropati went in well. Strong run by Quirk out on the wing and set it up. The Wigan defenders came across in numbers to bury him. And then long wide passing opened it up for Rapati to go over. Ten yards to the right of the post and the chance here for St. Helens to handle the scores. Tanner should back in this one over. He's only 11 yards out from the try line, 10 yards to the right of the post, correct side for the left footed kicker. And that levels it, take points each, and we've got a game on our hands here, and a good game it is too. 34 minutes gone. Saints with it in their own 25. Jonathan Griffiths receiving treatment near the touchline. Saints forwards fight the way up to the 25. Knocked on, Groves, referee looks at the touch, Judge. Says play on, this and tell him made the break. We're going to have to pass it. Well, everybody saw that, the touch, Judge. The referee looked at the touch, Judge. We heard the reaction from the crowd, it was automatic. Wigan moving up very quickly. And a lot of strength in these St. Helens forwards as they've been driving in, but they have to go down there in the fifth tattle. Gregory back as a sweeper and it's flung back to Tanley's under a lot of pressure. That's an awkward ball and he's going to find touch. He did well to find touch under a lot of pressure. So it's come down just inside the Wigan half, and it will be Wigan to feed. About five minutes of normal time to go. Wigan had more of the game territorially, but the point's still level. Great penalty for Wigan before the ball can be put in the scrum. Referee wanted to keep them away. So telling him eager to get down. Leiden makes sure with his touch kick. Dermot coming up, he has Scarrett there wanting it quickly on the bus, and Scarrett's on his own as he goes driving in over the 25 line. Myers running in from acting half back. <coughs> Dermot, Gregory on his left, it's Gregory who gets it. Back up to Gregory, Gregory a long ball, there's a big overlap. Iro dumbing his way and he's lost possession. Well, he's going to have to get some glue on his fingers. And Wigan had a big, big overlap there, with a gap a mile wide. And Iro once again drops the ball. 
Well, the game as tight as this is. Can't afford to throw away chances. Wigan coming in very keenly in these last couple of minutes of this half. Trying to keep Saints there, pin them down, it's very hard. Grafting away into this wind. Some talents forwards. Wigan in, pushing them back, keeping the ball going. This is Saints have been doing this well. And they would not die with the ball. That's five that has gone now. There's the kick behind the Wigan defence. Coming Myers and Leiden there. And it's Myers who takes it. Myers going on his own out onto Leiden. Leiden coming inside. Takes it over the halfway line. Plays it to Myers. Myers lucky to take that. He knocked it backwards. Up to Goodway. Goodway taking them on. Drives ten yards forward before he's down. Dermot. Dermot now onto Gregory. Gregory holding it. Gregory can't get it out to Hanley. And it's Hanley who comes over and having a run from behind to play the ball. Knocks one off, shows the ball, trying to force his way through. And he gets to turn it inside. Dermot hands it on. On to Clark. Clark keeping it going. Wigan moving it now off to Betts. Betts decides he's going to go down the middle. He had four men on his outside. Decided to go down the middle. Now on to Gregory, can we get the over, the Gregory sees the gap, turns inside, Wigan still battling the way to the line, lobbing it back, keeping it going, on to Leiden. Wigan going for the line, and they're going to be held short, and they're over. Scary, strength and determination and power. Forcing his way over, they make it now, right on the stroke of half-time. Wigan 12, St. Helens 8, and Wigan kept that ball moving extremely well. Right out to the left wing, back inside. And they could not hold Skerritt, his strength and determination. Powered his way over. Points which Wigan are going to need when they turn round to face the Gale in the second half. That was a great try by Skerritt. But the whole team had did well, and for once they handled the ball surely. Betts had set it up with a very strong run down the middle. He had plenty of support on the left wing, and decided he'd take them on on his own. Then it was moved out to the left wing, then back to the right hand side of the post. Leiden linking up well again, and it was Skerritt to take it, and there was no holding him from that distance. Garrett, of course, and the threat of suspension. Having been sent off, I told him last Monday for what looked uh, quite a harmless incident. Botica then, almost on the stroke of half time. Stabs at it, and it's there. Absolutely sure with those. Wigan 14, St. Helens 8. One converted try in it as we come up to injury time. Well, we're in injury time now as that ball is lofted into the Wigan 25. Dennis Betts, who's made some storming runs in this first half, brings it outside the 25. Good way, doing the grafting stuff, back into the front row position as Wigan have lost Platt, very early doors came off. Platt so invaluable in this sort of a game. Betts to, coming to turn it inside. Crowd grown. They wanted it to go to Hanley. They thought it a chance for a run. Gregory. Hoists it into the 25. It's going to roll dead off here though. Long oh no, it's not going to reach. Tanner gonna have to run it out. Coming into midfield. And he's down. Stopped dead in his tracks. some talents playing with great verb Keep back up, Wigan. 
to Harrison. Harrison being held up. Dougal Zahuta for half time. A highly entertaining game. Worthy of Wigan and Saints. And quite a bit of drop ball. We've been an entertaining match. And so the players go off with a half time score. Wigan 14, St. Helens 8. Well, we're going to make a half-time substitution. Dermot, who was in the walls in the first half, is off. And Forshaw's come on to replace him, so we can now have both the substitutes on. Gildart on in place of Platt, and Forshaw in place of Dermot. We can lost two of the pack that took the field. Saints being held in the 25. They're using the wind in this half, they can driving in harm, bringing it out of the 25. Groves, lining it up, but still tight in the forwards. Borshaw coming in for the early tackle, a bit of hesitation there for the kick. Here it comes, a high ball. Can be a lot of pressure on Joe Lydon this half. Bounces awkwardly away from him, Joe, very cool and laid back. Beautiful break, good run by Joe Lydon, good clearing run. We're going to have to fight the way out of this 25 into the wind. Vatica coming in from the wing. And St. Helens have also made a change at half time. Ward has gone off and Evans has come back on and the ball's loose. Referee's letting play continued. St. Helens drop on the loose ball. St. Helens now 35 yards out. In the first tattle, Wigan losing the ball in the tattle. Mauling going on in the tattle. And the hefty man, Groves, lobs it across the line. Saints trying to get it out to the left wing. Iroh going across, wraps him up, bounces him down, just in from the touchline. Adams trying to drive his way forward, Wigan holding them easily there. It's a come up to the fifth tackle now, Joe Lyden hanging well back as Groves hoists the high ball. Bottica's there, Bottica takes it well, turns and gets up and comes in again. Great run by Bottica. Did well there under under pressure, took the ball well and brought it away. Dean Bell running backwards in the cross field, it bounced down by the defending forwards. Now it's Wigan's turn to drive into this wind. Looking for support. It's Clark. Caught in possession. Good way, moves it inside onto Hanley. Hanley been suffering with injury, not really got into his stride in this game. More effective at loose forward than at standoff. Leiden there, but it's Gregory who puts the kick in behind the defence. It's going to quirk. Has to wait for it. Causing him to hesitate, giving the Wigan defenders time to get up. And Iro driving his man back. Harrison charging forward. Good run by Harrison. Oh, 
Griffiths puts in the little grubber kick. Lydon drops and he's lost it. It's kicked back to him. The referee's going to give the knock on. Lydon missed it at the first attempt. St. Tellin's charging through. Going to be Saints put in. Out to Rapati, party back to Griffiths. Griffiths trying to go through, lobs a long one. Botty Kazar, ball still loose. Referee going to give the knock on. The Wigan to feed just outside their own 25. Gregory coming round from the Saints side of the pack. Referee keeping the part. Now they're down. We can feed them. We're going to getting it out. Goes to Hanley. Hanley had to stoop for that one. Being taken by Rapati. receiving the ball. Clark going across quickly. And a penalty for hanging on in the play of the ball. Hanley decides to take a quick tap penalty and gained a good 20 yards again. Very quick away then. Good way to Clark. Clark turning, looking for support. That's it is taking it on. Very good way from acting out back on to Gregory. Gregory a long pass to Clark. Clark trying to go down the middle and there's no way through. Goodway seems to have taken over the acting half-back's job as Gregory takes out well. Gregory forcing his way over the halfway line. Goodway moving it across onto Clark. Clark taking the ball. Good, powerful run. Michael Clark goes down in the fifth tackle. Comes out to Gregory. Gregory holding it. Wigan can't get the ball moving. That looked to high with a lot of woo in the nine. Referee's right on the spot. And he's given Wigan the penalty. Didn't like that tackle by Haggerty. Penalty to Wigan. 37 yards out. Right in front of the post. He's having a word with Botica. Wigan leading by six points. Difficult kick this. Sand is brought on. Haggerty. Incurring the referee's displeasure there with that tattle. Gives Botica a chance to put another one over to stretch Wigan's lead. Would be very encouraging for Wigan if they can get this in these early minutes of the second half. They've been playing seven minutes. 14 points to eight as Botica hits it, hits it high. And true, Wigan 16, that's an invaluable two points. Wigan 16, St. Helens 8. Nice bounce for Wigan. And St. Helens decided we're going to take it quickly. Joe Lydon clears his 25. Killed out. Runs into man and groves. Good way. Behind the play of the ball. Little dummy from Andy Goodway. Dumbing his way through, can't get it out to Hanley. Now it's Hanley coming up to half back. Hanley moving it across onto Clark. Clark, who's had a good second half, his seven minutes he's been coming, doing a lot of work. Hanley, first pass, no way he could move, and Groves came in hard. Five tackles gone, says the referee. Gregory puts the kick in. Straight to Tan, and he knocked on. No, the referee plays it on. Great booing from the crowd. It looked uh, very suspicious, that one. Referee didn't give it. Where did it play on? Forshaw going in, having a job, taking his man. There's enough to halt him. Forshaw, and again, can't put the man down. It slipped back. We can come in quickly to smother them. Saints keeping it moving. And it's a hard tackle by Bell. 
Glenn Bells hits him, they know they've been hit. St. Helens using the wind, and that looks like a good kick. It's an excellent kick. Wigan forced back right onto their own 25. And the Gregory to feed. Gregory gets it, bringing it away. Coming his way through. Decides to go down with it. Up to Hanley. Hanley taking them on. He's legs to take from Onu. Managed to get his passing on to Clark. Clark keeping it moving. Wigan trying to come back down the middle. Four short caught in possession. Now it's Clark. Clark doing a lot of good work in this second half. And the good way. Long pass. Wigan being forced back into trouble. On to Forshaw. Forshaw dies with the ball. 12 yards inside his own half. Betts keeping it moving well. Iroh going through, gets his pass on to Bottica. Bottica coming inside, keeping away from the touchdown. They're trying to force him over. And he's lost possession and St. Helens have it. Trying to keep him play, lost possession. So Saints with it, Groves moving it inside now. Jonathan Griffiths hesitating and he's lost the ball. The referee will give the knock on. Griffiths hesitated, Wigan coming in hard, hit him hard and he lost possession. So the Wigan to feed, 35 yards out. Wigan now in a good attacking position. Wigan lining out very deeply. St. Allen's very flat. Referee keeping them apart, in go the heads, it's in, out quickly, Gregory breaking from the scrum, puts a little grubber kick in, and he's flattened, and there's trouble going on, Gregory's flat out on the floor, Gregory put the late grubber kick in and he didn't get up, a lot of the morning his players pu pulling other players off out of trouble, well, it will be a pity if this game takes a nasty turn. Well, Gregory came away well and couldn't get the ball to Hanley. Decided to put a little grubby kick in as uh, Hanley was being very closely guarded. Hanley joining in on the conference. Gregory back on his feet. What is the referee going to decide to do? And he's very reluctant to go. Referee having words with him. Touch judging. Referee giving the penalty to Wigan. Nobody's been given any card. To Bottica will probably be called over and he has been called over to kick. We're going to lead in by eight points. Wasn't for the late tattle on Gregory that the penalty's been given. A, a bit of mauling going on. I was following the ball through and over out on the right wing. Said the Saints players had come up and they decided they were going to tattle irrespective of where the ball was. Well, the game started to bubble over then. The referee who took a stern attitude right from the word go, and then it seemed to settle down. And a little cuffuffle there after that. Gregory kicked through, and players decided that they would take the law into their own hands. However, it's Bottica now. With 12 minutes gone. He lifts it high, and the crowd are shouting it over, and it's 18, Wigan with a 10-point lead. Wigan 18, Saints 8. And it's Groves who's going to take a switch of direction. Comes to Dean Bell. Dean Bell, quite happy. And he's been mauled by Groves. And he's penalising some talents for not getting off him. They had hold him, they lifted his feet off the ground, they wouldn't let him go, so Gregory having a bit of a limp, having a word with Hanley, 
No Leiden coming over. It's a bit of needle perhaps creeping into the game, but Joe Leiden finds up a few yards inside the side south, and a good way. On to Skerritt. Skerritt taking them on. And he's lost ball. Wigan down on it. Get it back. Referee said back to one. Been pulled out of Skerritt's hand. The good way was quickly onto it. Turned back inside by Clark. On to Betts, who's knocked down like India Rubberman. He's up again quickly. Now oh, it's good way. On to Clark. Clark to Gregory. Gregory a long pass on to Iroh, Iroh gets out of one tackle, Iroh taking them with him. There was nearly an interception and nearly a break, of course, if you miss the interception you're in trouble, and Iroh looking in trouble. Wigan worked the run around, and Philip Clark's having a great second half, doing a lot of work. And Iroh looking in an awful mess, and knows what Wigan will do, because they both substitutes on the field as Gregory dummying. His pass has been knocked down, he kicks it back, Leiden doesn't take it cleanly at the first attempt. Again, we'll need to pull somebody out of the pack as Iroh's getting treatment. Clark shouldn't be packing down. Sensibly, he's come away from the pack when they go down the narrow side. Wigan coming in hard. Large take as he came inside. Groves waiting behind to play the ball. Griffiths handing it on to Evans. Evans trying to come down the middle. Put down easily by the Wigan defenders. Iro out on the wing at the moment. As he play out to that wing. And Wigan coming in well, stopped them dead in the tracks on the halfway line. Agate still on his feet. Wigan, a bit light in the pack, I mean, lost some of the big men. Flung back for the kick, and that's a high, awkward one. Leiden's coming up for it, and he takes it well, as cleanly as Hampson could have done it. Joe made sure he was getting that one. Megan now back to their own 25. Myers having a run. Groves forcing him down onto Gregory. Gregory short one onto Forshaw. Forshaw cut in two. Gregory very close, Gregory holding it, turns it back inside. Killed out, unable to get through, then Gregory now making the break. He has Hanley with him, if he can get it to him. Looking for Hanley, onto Hanley. Hanley going for the line, knocking him off. And eventually has to go down under numbers. But that's the sixth tackle, but Wigan. Gregory again. Dangerous man. Wigan not ready for the play of the ball. And that was a great break by the two tonight's two half backs as they came through. Now we're getting the brute force and ignorance bit as Evans comes driving out. Grove from behind the play of the ball onto Harrison. Harrison runs inside and probably wishes he hadn't. He ran into Betts. Little overhead kick here. Greg goes across, takes it well. Did well to drop on that. Good way, moving it inside onto Hanley. Hanley, cross field. Wigan held. Clark. Good way, having a run, going a bit cross field. Hanley coming up to act in half back. Hanley on to Gregory, Gregory holding it, dummy, tried to get cut his way through, five tattle guns as the referee is, Andy Goodway comes over. Out to Leiden, Leiden has to do a little hop, puts an awkward kick in across field, we're going to following it up well. And they've gained a lot of ground, they push Saints back into their own 25. 
that was a strong, strong catch. Gildart went in with great power into the tackle. Wigan holding the Saints forwards fairly comfortably at the moment. As Harrison decides he's coming down the middle. And he bounced down. Groves. Groves having a run from acting half back. Quick and elusive. Held in the fifth tackle. Kick coming straight to Botica. Bodica being faced by Jones, has to go down with it. Dean Bell moves it inside, onto Forshaw, back onto Bell, Bell running at them. Andy Goodway, onto Gregory, Gregory onto Clark. Clark taking him up to the halfway and there's a fist gone in, I think, or has he to knock on? Couldn't hold it as he was going down. Referee says he knocked on as he was going down. The Griffiths to feed. Take my man. Man bringing it away from the pack. Dunning has broken his way through. Gets it on to Large. Large coming inside. And he's lost the ball. We can have it. Well, that was a gift to Clark. Let's move it inside. And Dean Bell not happy. He lost that ball going down, so we scrum down again. Halfway through the second half, 20 minutes gone. Wigan leading by 18 points to eight. As Jonathan Griffiths comes over to put it in, backs all over the place. As he gets it, a long one out to Rapati. Rapati moving it across field. Connolly not able to do anything with it. Wigan defence reading it well, coming in to snuff them out. Wigan line is all set again in defence. Saints pressing the way up towards the Wigan 25 now. Harris gets up to the Wigan 25 before he's down. St. Helens now turning it on in attack. Running straight into the middle, which makes it easy for Wigan. Out to Griffiths. Griffiths holding it. Griffiths doing the run around. On to Griffiths. Griffiths is nearly through. Gets his pass in. Botica comes in well and smothers his man. Saints keeping the ball moving well, no overhead kick there, Leiden's back, and it rolls dead, a little bit too far, and Wigan defence was all at sixes and sevens then, and Joe Leiden shepherded it over the dead ball line. Wigan from their own 25, plough the way forward, Gregory coming up to act in half-back. Good way coming over now. Gregory. Gregory's short pass. We can try and bash the way through. Forcing the way relentlessly up. Up to the halfway line then as it comes out. Bad pass. Gregory couldn't take it. Comes to Betts. Betts going inside. Betts going to come down the middle. Taking them with him. He's heavily tattled. Good way to Gregory. Gregory kicks. Straight to Quirk. Did take my Myers eye roll, looking as if his legs have gone. He's playing out on the wing. He's a bit of a passenger. Wigan with no reserves to bring on. And Saints going across the line. And they've lost ground as they moved inside into the middle of the field. Coming straighter now, keeping the ball moving well. It goes on to Griffiths. Griffiths taken from behind and put down. Wigan round quickly. The referee going to give a scrub stop in the clock.
Nairo's gone off, Dermot has come on. Saints with the possession, a big overlap as we attack down this wing. Bobby Gashep in the room out. Connolly easily tackled as he came inside. Agatev. Clark couldn't put him down, it goes on to Groves, and Groves is cutting through with a good clean tackle. A lot of pressure being put on Wigan now, wilting a little bit as Griffiths. Dummy going through from the play of the ball, and he's squashed out. But Saints now piling it on, hitting Wigan hard from 12 yards out, and they've got a penalty for line on, and it's taken quickly. Precious two points gone as they decided they're going to go for the six. Griffiths a long pass and a big overlap as it goes out to the wing. And Saints are in at the corner. Well, that's bringing Saints back into the game. 18 points to, tw uh, to 12 as Quirk goes over in the corner. Wigan were Wilton, Cosiro's gone off, we've got Dermot out on the right wing. St. Helens hit everything they had at Wigan and then the overlap on the left wing was absolutely unbelievable. It hit all the room in the world, all they had to take it was take it cleanly and put it down and made no mistake with it and so now it's Wigan 18, Saints 12, and Saints within striking distance of Wigan. With about 13 minutes of this game still left. Wigan, a very tired team, they've had an awful lot of games recently and it must be taking its toll. Pack very disorganised and that's a long kick. And it's over! A great kick, 18-14. Well, can Wigan hold out now with one try in it and a badly disorganised team by Wigan. Black came off very early doors and now I roll and limped off. Wigan a bit light in the pack. We've got Gildart in, Forshaw in, Clark in. Saints. With the wind behind them and the tails up a little bit now, having clawed the way back into the game on their own 25. <laughs> Harrison coming through, Gregory coming across now, Leiden takes him. And Leiden going to be cautioned. Harrison made a good break there, referee and a judge in the Harrison. Hanley calming Joe Lydon down. Well, that was a great break by Harrison. I'm wondering if these lightweight Wigan forwards are going to wilt a bit against this big pack. Penalty to Saints, 10 yards inside the Wigan half. Referee signalling. Joe Lydon's tackle was illegal. Saints being rolled on now as they come up to 20 yards. They're staring at the Wigan line and the Wigan line looking a bit shaky. And Talons now coming hard at Wigan. Wigan on the job putting them once more with a big overlap out on the right wing. Wigan going to organise the defence. Saints come driving in hard. Groves waiting for the play of the ball. Moving right. Griffiths handing it on. On to Evans. Evans going for the line. And he's held yards short. Desperate last ditch tackling by Wigan. Jonathan Griffiths comes up. With Wigan, and it's a penalty to Wigan, I think. Yes, he took a swipe. Took a swipe at Henley right on the try line. And that's going to be relief for Wigan. Evans having made a good run there, then spoiled it with that uh, lack of control. Wigan now backs to the wall in these last ten minutes. Oh, 
fighting for every inch. For sure, trying to bang his way through these big forwards. Vets turn now, Vets bringing it away well, and that's a great clearing run under, under pressure. Hanley decides he's going to have to have a go on with playing at captain's part. Hanley drives forward, gains another good 10 yards of ground. That's five tackles gone as Bell comes up onto Gregory. Gregory kicks. And it's rolling towards the touchline, and that was a great kick by Andy Gregory. Took a tremendous lot of pressure off these Wigan forwards. Saints push back into their own 25, but it will be Saints to feed. Well, Betts and Hanley did extremely well there, bringing the ball away from the danger zone. Griffiths bringing it away, doubling his way, and he's nearly through. And the bass has been picked up. Oh, the wild, wild pass. I bet he's put his foot in touch. Cut Judge's flag goes up. And it's Wigan's feed. Well, we're Myers in at right centre. Dermot out on the right wing, so you can see what kind of a mismatch this is of Wigan Mandy Gregory there who's played his heart out what a big heart he has taken by Clark Clark making good run Gregory holding it Gregory going on his own that's his ankle tapped he lost Hanley and there's some fierce tattling going on out there as Andy Gregory comes up to behind to play the ball onto Hanley, Hanley trying to crash his way through and they're guarding him very closely Myers coming up to act in half back Myers to Gregory, Gregory holding it, going back inside gets it back to Myers, Myers going on his own has to die with it, ten yards out good way, moving it out to the right and the ball's loose and we can dive over the line Dermot's gone over well, we're going to pull that one out. Where they got? Where they got the energy from that one? I never know. They've taken an awful lot of stick and an awful lot of punishment, and Dermot finishes it off. It's a great run from the last scrum by Philip Clark. Then Gregory took it on, and Dermot was there. Ground. Will he fancies himself on the right wing? Wigan 22, St. Helens 14. Hanley receiving attention, in fact he was getting a lot of attention when that try was scored and the attention was coming from the Saints defenders. Five minutes of normal time to go, I'm no doubt that Wigan will hang on for grim death now in what has been a, a good derby match. Gregory making no mistake onto Forshaw. Gregory directing operations onto Clark comes charging forward, relentlessly forcing his way up to the 25. Now it's Betts. Betts had a powerful game. Very young forward and he's getting up very slowly. Referee telling him to get on with the game, he's hurt, that one shook him. Good way coming over now to the play of the ball. Good way on to Gregory, Gregory going down the middle, dancing and jinking. Still on his feet, eventually taken from behind in the fifth tattle. Lobbed back to Joe Lyden, that was a very high one. Lyden keeping the ball down, and towards the corner flag. Tanner having to go back to five yards from his own line, the solid Jerry and Mike Rawl is up there to hold him. Good tactics by Wigan to play, Saints down in that 25. A lot of wide running here and there's a good tackle. And the ball's been dropped. Good tackle by Betts, he went in very hard and Saints getting up. Conno um, Connolly getting up, couldn't play. Couldn't uh, hold on to it, so it's Wigan feed. 
Ten yards out. Gregory going round the blind side, and he can't hold it, and he's lost it. We're going to have him to backpedal. Time is creeping into these limbs now. This has been a hard, tough testing match. But no prisoners taken on this field tonight. Both sides have had a terribly hard program. There's a big overlap as it goes out the far wing. Wigan coming across. Stitch it up. It's been intercepted. Dennis Metz intercepted. He gets his pass out to Myers is in. Myers is over. Ah, good interception by Betts. Betts has had a great game. That makes it now 26. Betts stole that one, ran strongly. Myers backing him up well. Now makes it 26 points to 14. And surely that's another two points in Wigan's remorseless march on to the top of the championship. Two and a half minutes of normal time to go, and the, the easiest of kicks for Botica. Well, in spite of the Wigan accidents and injuries, and swapping and changing, they've really put it together well. And these lads have come in, one can only be proud of them as they played the half side. Clark this afternoon having a great second half, and Botica bangs it over again to make it 28 14. Well, a good crowd on here tonight. We, we must have thoroughly enjoyed what's been a very entertaining game. Bubbled up once or twice, but on the whole, been an extremely clean game. Hard fought. Botica coming up behind the play of the ball. Turns it inside. Now it's Andy Gregory, who's going to try and get them going. Wigan fighting the way up the 25. They're all grouped round this play of the ball as Andy Gregory comes up to act in half back. Good way, going cross field. Wigan taking it away. Five tackles gone, says the referee. Gregory coming up. He has Joe Line back in his own 25. But Greg decides he's the man to kick, and it's behind the defence again. Tanner was well to take that, took it cleanly in his own 25. Quirks come inside him. The Wigan team up there, solidly in a line of defenders. Saints are pushed back to their own 25. Wigan forwards playing together as a pack as Groves comes over from behind the play of the ball. Griffiths moving it across. A man so strong. Managed to get his pass in, ball's gone back, Botica's in quickly, but St. Helens still in possession. And Botica chasing him across the field, takes him well from behind. Botica in the middle, can't put the man down, of course, coming down the centre. Five tattles gone. Joe Lydon very deep in his own 25. it on his own try line Lydon running wide hangs on to it Wigan playing it safe just 40 minutes gone Wigan quite happy to hang on good way holding them off with one hand to Gregory Wigan going across the field Hamley coming over on to Gregory Gregory turning it back inside Wigan still going look playing very powerfully Wigan even it moon and that was a very speculative kick there, which could put Wigan into trouble. Quirk 
picked up and dumped down, and he's lost the ball. Tackle so heavily, he lost it. Dermot moving it inside. Myers, Myers. And there goes the Huta for the end of the good Derby match. A very entertaining Derby game. I don't think it will make any prognostication for Wembley, but Wigan were the winners tonight by 28 points to 14. John, the win over St. Helens is always very pleasing, but victory tonight must have been very, very sweet. Well, we, we played well in the second half, and uh, again, we finished the game very, very strong and full of running. So uh, our last three games, we've, we've played probably our best rugby league in the last 20 minutes. So if uh, we can keep putting fit players out on the field, well, there's, there's no doubt we can go the distance. Our new young lads that we brought in gave a highly pleasing performance, didn't they? Well, they did, and we've, uh, with all the fixtures that we've got, we've had to dip into the Alliance team. And, um, you know, last week we lost three players with injuries. We brought another three back, plus two 